Healthy Wednesdays is brought to you by the sponsors of MomsEveryday.com. Good morning, I'm Katie Kunkel. Nosebleeds can be a dramatic and frightening experience when they occur, especially in children. Joe Kirst, a nurse practitioner, practitioner in Mayo Clinic Health System's Ear, Nose, and Throat Department, is here to explain what causes them and how we can stop them. Good morning, Joe. Good morning, Katie. So first of all, what causes nosebleeds? It's usually due to a trauma of some sort, whether it's external trauma or internal trauma. Uh, external trauma, like a blow to the nose, or internal trauma, such as dryness, Okay. Um, or actually something like picking the nose can cause mm -hmm. nosebleeds. Okay, so how do we stop a nosebleed when it's happening? Yeah, the first thing to do is to remain calm. Um, and then you want to s remain sitting okay. and then pinch the nostril with the thumb and the forefinger and hold that for about 10 minutes. If you sense bleeding in the back of the throat, you want to spit the blood out. Uh, that might cause nausea and vomiting. Um, but hold it for 10 minutes and then um, if it stops then what you want to do is basically refrain from any physical activity or irritation factors for the next 24 hours. Certainly if it continues to bleed you want to seek the uh, assistance of an ear, nose and throat specialist mm -hmm. or even the emergency room. Okay, is there anything we can do to help prevent a nosebleed then? Pretty much it's, it's maintaining good moisturization to the internal uh, nasal skin and that's through home humidification and also the use of nasal saline spray, nasal saline gel are two real good uh, ways to do that. All right. Well, yeah. thank you for joining me this morning, Joe. I appreciate it. Right. And to learn more, please visit weau.com and click on Moms Every Day. You will find this information under the Health tab. Moms Every Day, weekday mornings at 6.58. Get more online at momseveryday.com.